Hello everyone and welcome to this week's art lesson. Now today we're going to be learning about the artist Bob and Roberta Smith, which is a pseudonym, so a made up name for the artist Patrick Brill. Now they carried on with this name when Bob and Roberta Smith, or Patrick Brill, was making art with his sister. And Patrick Brill, or Bob and Roberta Smith, makes slogans. And one slogan I really like says, Art makes children powerful. Now I'm going to change that today to say, Art makes us powerful because I'm not a child and I still feel that art makes me feel powerful. And a few other slogans, one is um, make your own reality and another is all art sco all schools should be art schools. And I think they're all really great and I think they all make me think too. Now today we're going to use two pieces of paper, one to practice on to begin with, pencil and felt tip pens to apply colour. Now you might want to use something else to apply colour. And as I say, we're going to begin by having a practice of doing big, bold, and sort of eye-catching lettering, really. To practice, let's begin by picking a letter. Lightly draw it about the length of your thumb. Now make each line of the letter thicker, as if you were adding building bricks around it. Then make this all one colour. Now imagine snow has fallen on top of the letter, settling down on the lines below. Make this all one colour. You could do this from one side of the letter as well. This should start to make it look 3D. If you've tried this with one letter, have a go a few more times as it can be tricky. Now pick one of these three Bob and Roberta Smith slogans, or make up your own. Using a pencil, gradually write the slogan, spacing the lettering out to fill your page. Now let's start by colouring in the letters. Use a medium of your choice for this. You can alternate three different colours for your letters. Now pick three different colours again, and this time, try the 3D effect. If you like, you could fold your page into a square, then create a background with a colour or pattern too.
Okay, well I've stopped mine then. As I was doing that, I was really thinking about the ways in which art could make us feel powerful. It could be that when you show it around the school, you feel really great about that, and you feel quite empowered by the fact that lots of people have seen it. Same within a gallery. But it could also be that you're sharing a message that you don't really know how to say, and you've put it in an artwork instead. And sometimes that is a really great way of expressing ourselves. Now, if you did enjoy that, here are three more of Bob and Roberta Smith's artworks. And have a wonderful week, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.